What is going on Wolfpack? My name is Muddy Wolf and in this tutorial we're going to continue on with our top-down RPG and we're going to implement player damage so we can actually damage the enemy and destroy him and we're also going to add in some health UI so when we get attacked we can see ourselves being attacked. So let's start off with that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go in our canvas and you see this pow bow, bow power UI? We're going to duplicate it. I'm going to rename this to health UI and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get the bow UI and I'm going to move it over to the right side. I'm going to set X uh, to be 64 and it's Y to be six. Oh, sorry, 64 and it's <laughs> uh, it's X position to be minus 64. Yes, perfect. There we go. So now it's in the right position. So our bow UI should still work as it normally does. But our health UI, let's go in and let's go to the fill area. Well, actually, first, let's give it some value. Let's say it's about halfway up. You can see it's still yellow and that's going to get confusing. So let's change that to a red color. Let's go for something like that. That looks good. So now we have a little red health bar we're going to be able to use. You know, what? by default, we'll just set this to one uh, just so it looks like it's always up anyway. Actually, no, 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 let's say it's zero. I have an idea. So we have the health UI, but on our player, we don't have any health uh, UI here. So let's open up this script in Visual Studio Code. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, actually, this player attack. We're going to go into our player health script, sorry. And then in our player health script, we're going to create a few new things. So we have our health and our max health here, um, which is always nice. But what we need next is going to be our slider. So we're going to say serialize field. Oh, serialize field. We'll give it a private, uh, no, a private slider. So we're going to have to be using Unity Engine dot UI, and this slider is going to be called Health Slider. There we go. So we've got our health slider. Now inside of our start method, we want to sell health slider dot max value is equal to max health. What we're going to do then is we're going to create an on GUI method, which just stands for on GUI, which stands for graphical user interface. So anytime the user interface is updated, this method will be called in here. And we're going to create a, we're just going to say health slider dot value is equal to uh, max or no our current health so what we're doing here is we're just making sure the value of the slider is equal to our max health here so there you go so that's looking pretty good so far so let's go back to our unity instance wrong way this way and when this reloads the scripts we should inside of our player health script here you can see we have this health slider here we can drag in our health ui and drop it on here and we should be able to hit play. And then you can see our health is um, activated. So if we go near the enemy and he starts attacking us, you can see our health is going down. And it's just going to keep going down and down and down and down and down and down. And there you go. We need to respawn. So let's stop that. Uh, let's go back to our health script. And that's cool. So you might have seen when our health was going down, it was just jumping down chunks. But what happens if we want to make that look smoother, like it slides down? To do that, we can actually use a math lerp. So let's go up here and let's say float t is equal to time dot delta time divided by however long we want it to take to move down. So we're going to say one second or one uh, float. Um, and then instead of just setting our value to health, we're going to say math f dot lerp and then we're gonna give the health slider dot value so the current value and then the value we're trying to get to and then we're going to manipulate that over time and this way now if we go back to our uh, unity let the scripts reload and let's hit play now this time you'll see you can see our health bar actually slides up from zero to where we need to be and then when we start getting attacked you can see it goes down, Not it doesn't snap, it actually slides down, which is a really nice touch to have. So that's a cool little touch. Let's go back to our health script. So now when we die, we actually need to die. So we just currently log player respawn. Now we can just destroy our game object and there you go, that'll be done and then we can bring up a menu. Um, so for now, we're just gonna destroy our game object and that's game over. We need to get the game loop actually in before we can really 
be fully destroyed but here you go so now if we go near and we're attacked we're being attacked we're trying to get away we're shooting him we're shooting him but we don't do any damage yet pew pew he's just beating us up we'll just he takes a long time he isn't very strong bless him we could just stand here and beat him up but bam now we've been destroyed obviously the health line doesn't go all the way down because we've destroyed our enemy um or our player before we can so to fix that what we can do is we can go in here and we can say health slider dot value is equal to zero f let's move that up here and or we can just set to health here so we just want to actually directly set it here um and now we should be able to go before we get destroyed if we just let it run there we go but it's going to take a minute again so i'll skip this part and as you can see, when we've been destroyed, we have been destroyed and our health slider is now completely at zero, which makes it a lot better. So there we go. So that is that health section done. Now we need to actually be able to do damage because if we play this game again and we try to shoot our enemy, it does nothing. He takes no damage and we could never destroy him. So we need to click on our enemy to start with and we're going to create a prefab out of him. So let's drag him into our prefabs and this is just going to be enemy. On the right, we're going to add a tag. So let's click add tag, add it. Let's create a new one and we're going to call it enemy. Let's click back on our enemy prefab here and tag him with enemy. Perfect. Now we're going to open up our enemy script here. And what we're going to do is, where are we? So we're at the top here. Let's move that space at the top. It's unneeded. Um, so we've got these valuables, speed, attack damage, can attack, target. But we need our health stuff. So between this, let's just create a header um, for our health we should probably create a header for our um, other stats too so let's just say movement and attack there we go um, cool so we've got those in now let's under here let's just say we need a private float called health just like our player and also a serialized field called private health uh, oh, sorry, private max health. And we're just going to have that. Oh, private float max health. There we go. So now we have a um, two instances. Now we're going to create a start method under our target here. And we're going to say um, max health. Nope, sorry. Health is equal to our max health when we first start the game. So we actually have our enemy health here. And then we're going to create a new public function. So we're going to create a public void take damage and what we're going to do here is we're going to say float damage and then we're going to say health is minus equal to the damage we take and we're just going to quickly uh, debug uh, dot log um, and we're going to log our we're going to say enemy health and we're going to say equal to our enemy's health so just so we can see what our enemy's health's at we're not going to add the enemy health ui for this one but i would like you guys to give it a try yourself we're using the same technique we did for our player but maybe try and keep it in world so have a go at that and we'll see what happens so we're going to say if our health is below or equal to zero we're going to destroy our game object so we'll just go destroy our uh, enemy and he'll be gone boom destroyed now we'll add particle effects and some explosions and stuff um at a later date but for now this should work out perfectly fine but before we finish this we need to go to our arrow script and we need to actually add in damage to our arrow because currently we have velocity but we do not have damage so let's copy this and rename this to arrow damage and then once we've got our arrow damage we can go down to a Saying that, no, that should be fine. We need to go on collision, enter, sorry. We need to say if tag is equal to enemy. So we, we so if we hit our enemy, what? why is there so many red squiggly lines? Method must have a return. All oh, right, yep, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We're going to say debug.log and we're going to say enemy attacked or we attacked the enemy. I don't know how to write that. And then we're going to get a reference to our enemy script. So we're going to say other dot game object dot get component. And we're just going to say enemy is really annoying. I don't know why it's doing this. Have I done something wrong here? There's nothing wrong with this code here. It wants a comma. 
I don't know. Ignore it. I think it's just having a little fit. Let's just go enemy dot take damage. And we're just going to say the arrow damage we create up here. Now, this is great, but we actually, this is actually set to nothing currently. Let's close this arrow script. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just very broken. It's going to work. I guarantee Unity won't give any errors. But let's go to our player attack. And let's scroll all the way down to where we shoot our bow. Now, here we set our velocity, but we need to create an actual arrow attack. So let's say arrow dot arrow damage is equal to, and we're going to say arrow damage. But now what we need to do is actually go up here where we have our bow power. We're going to create a arrow speed. So we're going to say arrow uh, damage. And we're going to set this equal to bow, plot, bow charge times bow power. So we're not adding it. We're going to times it together to get our damage. And that's how we're going to sell it here. Uh, arrow da damage. There's nothing wrong with this. Why is wrong with my... It's my arrow script that's throwing all the errors. Okay, let's close that. Let's try closing... Um, well, can we refresh the... Can I refresh this? Oh, that fixed it. There we go. So I just need to refresh my uh, Unity compiler, uh, IntelliSense, because it was messing up. There we go. It works now. So now we start arrow damage. Now, I think this is everything we need. I don't know if I've missed anything in the kerfuffle of being myself. Um, <laughs> but here we go. So if we go to our enemy... Oh, we need to actually go down to our enemy and we need to set his max health to be something, let's say 30, because we can one shot a 30, because we have our player bow being, oh, our player attack being between 10 and 3, meaning we can actually do some damage here. So let's hit play. And now we start, we see our health go up. Now, if we look down here where the console is and we sh charge our bow and we shoot, you can see we did attack and now he's left with 15 health. So we did almost half. Let's fire again. And there we go. We destroyed him. He had no health left after that. But you saw the arrow continue to stay. Now, the arrow is okay to stay when he gets stuck in. But for now, I kind of want to just destroy the arrow. So let's just say destroy game object. So that arrow will now be destroyed when it collides with anything. So let's let it reload. One last shot. And now, as you can see, we can now also... So if our enemy chasing us, we can shoot him a bunch of times. If we just shoot him really fast, do a lot of little damage, we can charge up a little bit and fire. And our shot, boom, he's dead. But if we now let's play again, and let's charge a full blast this time. So let's say we just want to take him out in one shot. Boom, completely annihilated him with that shot there. And there you go. Now he has been completely destroyed. So you, with this game, you actually have two methods of attack. You can charge... It might take longer to shoot and also you won't be able to shoot again for a little while but you will do more damage or you can just spray attack which won't do much damage but will um, it will uh, well attack faster which is great. So they are the two methods we are doing today so we've added in player health UI and also actually destroying and attacking our enemy. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and if you're new around here don't forget to join our discord community where we talk about games, we do competitions, we give shout outs, we do all the fun stuff. In The link will be in the description down below. Join a discord server and get involved. Anyway guys, keep muddy thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one so peace out